thank you so much, Dudu. Uh, I don't want to waste any time. We are about to step back into court to listen to legal representation from the Economic Freedom Fighters, which is a respondent in the case, however, is in support of the applicant in wanting the decision of the Speaker to refuse a separate ballot to be set aside, amongst other things. Talk to us about why the EFF is here. Uh, good day to you and uh, to your viewers at home. We are here as a fifth respondent and cited in court, but uh, also we are here to support the, the, the ATM uh, on, on them seeking relief that uh, the decision of the Speaker to refuse the secret ballot on the matter of the Section 89 Committee must be declared unlawful and, uh, because it's irrational. And uh, you would know the importance of that committee. It was not just uh, another small committee that had no impact on the decisions of what's going to happen to the life of the, of the position of the president. So it's one of those important decisions and committees that seek to deal with the, with the status of the president. And, uh, and, and, and we're saying that from the, the ruling that in 2017 by uh, C.J. Mukwen, we said this is not just a small matter when the uh, ATM it was against speaking on, on the Gaza matter with Zuma of uh, asking for a secret ballot. It was very clear that uh, the members of, of parliament, they've got a responsibility and uh, the supreme law of this country that they must be, uh, the members of parliament, as they go inside parliament and take an oath, they swear, they swear allegiance towards the constitution and the law of this country. So it can be that on important matters, like uh, the one of Section 89, where there was a committee established by the Speaker in the Parliament that came back and found, uh, made findings against the sitting President that uh, there, were, uh, is, uh, there were issues that took place in the Palapala farm was of issues of hidden uh, foreign currency, issues of assault and kidnapping. That was not a small matter that uh, the Speaker would just come and say, no, it must be done on open ballot. And there were threats because the, the, that case of 2017 came out clear that it's on the basis of the threats that we issued to members of parliament about their livelihoods, including their jobs. And that's exactly what happened after that committee. Uh, they, they, they presented their report in parliament. Kwajemantasha went to threaten the members of the ANC to say, if you vote uh, for that uh, section 89, that it must be debated in parliament, uh, you're going to lose your jobs, uh, same as Paul Mashatile did the same. So we are agreeing with, uh, with the ATM that uh, for the speaker to refuse the secret ballot, it was irrational, and, the, and uh, that decision, it's either it must be sent back to the speaker to reverse that decision, to go back to the secret ballot, or it must be uh, declared uh, unlawful. And now, just to refer to what Justice Tulare said to Advocate Kasiboto, saying that the same thing that you're complaining about insofar as the ANC members having to toe the party line because they were put there by their own party, you are privy to those same privileges as the EFF in the National Assembly. What do you say to that? Look, I think Mumkwang was very clear. We are the parties, uh, political parties, we might have our own principles on how do we conduct ourselves, but that can not go beyond the constitution and the laws of this country. There is no party as the EFL. We've got our own constitution, but that constitution is still subject to the constitution and the laws of this country. We can't say that because it's our constitution, then it undermines the constitution, especially when we become members of parliament. Because once we become members of our parliament, it means by the time we go and contest elections, we have accepted to subscribe to the constitution and the laws of this country. That's what the constitution that goes and establishes the parliament of this country. So, and, and also the issues, they must be rational and be, uh, they, 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 must, they, they must be looked at its merit and its importance and the impact. This is not just a matter of uh, moving someone from one committee to committee. This is a matter where it's going to uh, uh, lead to the impeachment of a sitting president and you expect that the same uh, president is going to uh, not to use every tactic to, um, to, uh, to threaten the members that, uh, that are supposed to sit on, on the committee that seeks to impeach him, because impeachment is not just another discussion in, in Parliament. So that's why the rationality comes in to say, you might have your own uh, principles as, as organizations, but all of us were subject to the, and the, the swear allegiance to the constitution and the rule of, the, of, the, of this country. And, and, and we are arguing on those bases to say, this is not just another ordinary committee that would, or another ordinary debate. 
this had an impact of removing the sitting president from office because once you start the impeachment processes, once, it, once the results come out that he can be impeached, it means he's going to lose his seat from the office and, and he will lose everything, including threats to the members of parliament losing their livelihoods. And we know that in South Africa it's not just ends uh, on those that will defy. And we know that immediately after that, uh, Dr. Gwasasa Nazuma and those that voted for, for that committee to be established, they were threatened, and even the Kwete Mantashe said they're going to be taken to the DC, which confirms exactly what, uh, what Mokoen said, that these issues have got an impact on the livelihood. So those people, they won't uh, go there and, and, and do it honestly. They're going to be voting under, under threats, and they won't use their consciousness and their allegiance to the Constitution. So the Speaker must protect them by making sure that there's a safe environment for them to to operate, which is a secret ballot, and that's what we're calling for ourselves. Remember, we wrote to the Speaker ourselves requesting the secret ballot. Thank you so much for your time. The Secretary General of the Economic Freedom Fighters putting forward some of the arguments that are being put by Advocate Gassimoto's representing the EFF after the uh, lunch break. Juju will continue.